You might think that oil will gush out as soon as a pipe is drilled into the ground, but the reality is far more complex. Before extraction begins, engineers deploy seismic trucks on the surface to send shock waves deep underground. As these waves pass through different rock layers, they reflect distinct signals. By analyzing this data, geologists can pinpoint where oil is hidden. Only then does drilling begin. Because oil lies thousands of meters below the surface, ordinary drill bits cannot withstand the conditions and must be replaced with high-strength industrial bits. Even so, continuous drilling generates extreme heat. This can damage equipment, destabilize rock layers, and in severe cases, trigger dangerous blowouts. To prevent this, drilling fluid is circulated throughout the process. This carefully engineered fluid cools the drill bit, reduces friction, carries rock cuttings to the surface, and, most importantly, maintains pressure inside the well to keep oil, gas, and groundwater from rushing in unexpectedly. After the drill passes through groundwater layers, steel casing is lowered into the well, and cement is injected between the casing and the surrounding rock. Once hardened, the cement reinforces the well, seals off different geological layers, prevents leaks, and protects underground water sources. Drilling then continues deeper until the target oil reservoir is reached. Reaching the oil layer, however, does not guarantee efficient production. In many reservoirs, oil cannot flow freely. Engineers solve this by using hydraulic fracturing. Perforation guns first create small channels through the casing and cement. High-pressure fluid is then injected to crack the rock, while support materials keep these fractures open. This creates stable pathways, allowing oil to flow continuously into the well and be safely brought to the surface.